Jeremy S. Cook here, and today I'm making a strand beast. This time it's not made out of polycarbonate like the Clearwalker or MDF like my strand mouse, but it's actually just made from a kit. These are available on Amazon for about $10 or eBay for maybe, maybe $5, like half of that. So as you can see, it's actually a wind power beast. Take out the instructions, has instructions, and took apart the linkages, the bottom legs there. Had some plastic pieces put on that went on it to help it walk correctly. And push it in with a pen and that went pretty well. After that it was time to put on the first linkage. Worked pretty well. And many, many more triangles. So more linkages went on. And then it was time for the second linkage. So you put that on there along with the bottom triangle and you have the characteristic parallelogram with the Janssen linkage or Janssen link system. I was, overall, I was really impressed with this system. It's just laid out nicely so that somebody can put it together just in their home without any sort of bearings or anything else and put it together and make a working system. Considering it's available for $5, it's pretty, pretty incredible. So with that done, I put the linkage system on or the, or the camshaft on. That keeps the legs moving forwards and backwards at the correct rate. And the axes just, just put on, get, went onto the triangle thing there, a triangle support there. And you can see it walking just a little bit. And there's the top support. And two of them walking together, so that's pretty nice. All that, all the rest of it is pretty much just building on that system. Put another triangle support on, it supports a little bit better, and then put more and more Jensen legs on them, or Jensen, however you pronounce it, I'm not entirely sure. So there's four of them together. And I just need eight more legs and I'll be, I'll be done. Overall, this thing took me about an hour to put together, but considering I put five of these together on my own without any sort of kit, I'd say it'll probably take the average person a bit, a bit longer. Again, I was super impressed with this, just how, how smooth it is and how, how it's made so that it can be made out of plastic for a very inexpensive price without any sort of bearings or anything. Contrast that to probably the thousands of dollars I've spent on my strand beasts or clear walkers and probably maybe a thousand hours. It's a lot different. Maybe I should have started with this first and then I would have saved myself some time, but that wouldn't have been much fun. So those metal rods go in to give it some more support and these little things I'm popping out now actually uh, hold on kind of act as caps to the, the sides. And here's the, the windmill that goes on it. I've yet to make one with a wind power with a windmill, so this is a new, new thing for me. It's got a couple, couple gears to provide reduction, increase the torque. And another rod goes in there and slides it in. It's done. There it is working. And with some power from the fan, it takes off nicely. So here's another view of it, walking down my workbench. Just walking along, you know, just a normal day on the workbench. Just a strand beast, 12 lake beast, or wind power beast. So here it is going along. It's actually getting pretty close to the edge. Oh, c come on. No, 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 no. Oh, no. And that was the end of my Strand Beast experiment. So, this has been Jeremy Cook signing off. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe, leave a comment, or whatever. Oh, it was okay. So, no problem there. No Strand Beasts were hurt in the making of this video. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.